What's up, guys? Uh, welcome back. This is your boy, Gayuna Day. Now, uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. I hope say that day okay. Well, tomorrow is Sunday, and I'm recording this video as at 21:51. That is uh, 9:51 uh, p.m. Well, it is right that I also give you updates concerning the man who was calling David Doe a thief. Called him a thief, a courtist, a bastard, <laughs> and someone living fake life. Those are the four things Abu Salami called David Doe yesterday while he was trying to narrate himself. So since I've already started reporting this case, is 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 uh, is right that I give you update, you know, because I'm not just going to stop there, because there are new updates coming up. And don't forget, while Abu Salami was making those allegations yesterday, he also said one thing. He said, he's a clean guy. That David Doe cannot do him, do him anything because he's a clean person. There is no trace of any arrest. There's no trace of any fraud. There's no trace of any illegality on his name. So because of that, he was so confident to do that nothing can touch him well unfortunately the guy is not that clean check out this picture the guy is not that clean he's not a clean guy like he said he's not that clean he was arrested for fraud a few years ago so they be do I believe some David Doe close people are actually doing their work properly this time, exposing someone who is calling out their boss. Well, firstly, I want to let you know my stand on this matter. If you have grievances towards anybody, go to court. Go to court. There is nothing social media court can do for you. The only thing social media uh, 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 awareness can do for you is just to amplify the matter. Or maybe if you need donation for sickness, all those things, uh -huh. social media can get you donations. But if you need justice for anything, go to court and then let the social media world know that, okay, you have, went, you have gone to court. But you cannot be calling someone a thief. And again, the first time I started talking about this matter, I brought out videos of this guy and David Doe together. David Doe promoting this guy soccer dream. So myself, I already knew that. I already concluded within myself that David Doe shouldn't return a dime. Yes, so. I already concluded within myself that David Doe should not return one copper to that guy. But yet again, I blame David Doe. I'm going to tell you the reason why I blame David Doe. I've already addressed it, but I'm going to repeat it again. The reason why I'm blaming David Doe. David Doe should not return the die because he has already fulfilled the obligations to that guy. With all those evidence we are seeing online now, David Doe will, if David Doe tender such evidence in court, that guy is in deep trouble. He's in deep trouble for calling David Doe a thief and also going as far of saying he's going to disgrace David Doe's father, Adeleke. He said he's going to disgrace David Doe's father, Adeleke. If not for anything, if not for anything, if David Doe was considering letting this matter to just go down, just forget this guy. If not for anything, he should do it because of his father. If David Doe should allow somebody call him a thief and also say going to disgrace his father to just go scot free, and David Doe knows that he is not guilty as charged, then David Doe is not serious if he allowed this matter to just go like that. David Doe should sue this guy and make him pay. Not even for himself, because of disrespecting his father. Because everybody knows David Doe's father. Very quiet human being. You can hardly hear him talk. 
all of you can testify to that. Well, here is a video that shows David Doan and this guy together. I've already uh, 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 shared it before. That showed David Doan and this guy together promoting. There were numerous videos like this of David Doan promoting this guy's soccer uh, dream. Numerous video. So, what was it this guy was asking for? Because David Doe fee, normally fee, according to a special, is from $1 million. But he collected part payment from this guy because of the dream. Maybe David Doe wasn't seeing the dream again and he decided to just, you know what, I'm no longer with you again. I'm out of this place. And this guy needed David Doe because he wanted to use David Doe for his influence. To gain uh, sponsorship, he doesn't have any money stored somewhere to pay the video or to finance everything. He was depending on sponsorship, so using the video. So the guy he played the video's camo <laughs> for me, for me, he played the video scam. Well, as at 2011 October 12th. Uh, there is this uh, publication that say phone fraud, five jail for 4.5 million premium line scam. So you will see Salami there, you see Assad there, and see Boots. They all received three year jail sentence. This guy went to jail in America. So according to the narration, uh, talking about the old story, someone said, why didn't he mention that David Doe executed the viral promotional video? David Doe's only crime here was helping him to secure the sport betting company that was sponsoring his event since he was signed as an ambassador for the company. This is as far as I know on this matter, the source said. Meanwhile, businessman Abu Salami, UK criminal record and now circulating on the internet just hours after David Doe hype man revealed that his hands were not clean. According to, to BBC report in 2011, Abu was among five men issued a three-year jail sentence for admitting to 4.5 million pounds phone fraud. Well, phone fraud. As at 2011, and this guy came out to say, I am clean. I am clean. No criminal record. I am clean. No criminal record. Do you know the me or someone is clean? That means you have never been arrested before. See, this guy played the video's car. This guy had no money with him to finance anything. That is what I know about his role. He had no money with him to finance any project. He needed the video for his influence. To gain sponsorships. And David Doe, through his influence, according to what I've read, actually secured sponsorship for him. I don't know why David Doe decided to move back and uh, decide not to continue with the relationship with this guy. But I believe, and I still blame David Doe for everything entirely, because David Doe, eh, forget to, I know he's a free guy, but he is too accessible. David Doe want to eat almost every penny out there. He's a hustler. I know he hustle like see if he doesn't have uh, he doesn't have backbone, but he really need to slow down a bit. No be every money person the chop. There are some money that will hook you. You know we are Nigerians. We know all those kind of stuff. Even wise men anywhere in our around the world, we know not all money that you will want to eat. There are some money that will hook your throat. You won't be able to swallow it or even uh, vomit it. It will just stay there. Pain in your ass. Yeah. The money is not even enough. The money is not even close to what they will do charge normally for sponsorship. It's not even enough. That is the painful thing. The money is not close to what they will do sign for contract. Contract. Normal sponsorship contract, the money is not even close to what David Doe charged. But because David Doe is a hustler 
and it hustles as if it doesn't have any bad any bad board. You want to get every penny, no penny that comes his way that he will want to overlook and be like, you know what? I do not need this contract. Let it go like that. As long as the money is much, he's going to take it. So David don't need he and his team need to sit down and filter contracts. Filter. Filter it very well. Not everybody that you will associate with. Not everybody that will bring something and then be like, oh, let me let me ball on this contract. Let me chop here. Let me chop here. No, 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 no. Relax now. Eh? Too accessible. And too many corners to David O. Everybody wants to make 20%. Everybody wants to make 5%. Everybody want to make 10% from every deal. You know, without considering, okay, is this contract good for David o? Will it kind of like not ruin David O's name? Well, Abu Salami calling David o a thief, totally wrong. Calling him a bastard, totally wrong. And for me, my conclusion is that David o I don't see David Doe returning a dime. And honestly, David Doe wasn't even supposed to return a dime because he has already fulfilled some of the obligations. And again, the contract was for 200 or something million. Abu Salami paid 200 or something million. So David Doe can easily say, the money, the, the work that I've done for Abu Salami is even worth more than 200 or something million. So Abu Salami is the one calling me balance. You can sue. Yeah, you are owing me balance. Because me coming for appearances alone is 150,000 US dollars, 200,000 US dollars, so 1,000 US dollars. But the matter is deeper than what you and I know. So, but looking at the surface of the things that they have presented so far, the same way I kind of like analyze it when Abu Salami was calling David Doe a criminal yesterday. Say so he's going to disgrace the IG, disgrace his father. Yeah, I still try as much as possible to analyze it. After looking at all the evidence, honestly, I do not think David shows to return a dime. I am just pissed that his brand is being affected and someone actually calling him a thief. And the person will just go scot free. Come on, man. Do something. Like, sue someone now. Go to court. I'll go to court. Like I've said before, uh, I don't want Nigeria. I don't want Nigeria entertainment industry to resort to settling disputes through gang affiliation, all those kind of things. And the guy even may mention that David Doe was trying to initiate him into a court group. Somebody made a dolphin arrest before for fraud. Now, person for artists from Nigeria, one called the initiative for court group. What the hell? I don't know. I don't know about that. But he said so. He said there's proof. There's proof. I don't know if that one will stand in court. Go to court and get your justice. Hmm? So for me, my conclusion is that David Doe should return in time. And the guy should move forward. And again, they should go to court. They shouldn't just let this matter go die. No, go to court. I, I would like to see the judgment. They, they, they should most definitely go to court. David Doe, it's either David Doe sued the guy or the guy sued David Doe to court. But David Doe, I've already submitted petition. So after investigation, I believe David Doe will take the matter up. If he not take the matter up, that means you know that man says that he's going to disgrace his father. That means just for me.